Today on FAQ Fridays, we're going to be discussing solar arrays on your metal roof and why spacing is important. My name's Curtis Ward. Today I'm joined with Nick Hawley, S5's Product Development Manager. Nick, thanks for taking the time to come sit down with us today. Absolutely. Happy to be here. So with S5 leading the solar PV attachment market, one of the questions that we get asked a lot is, why is spacing important on PV arrays? Correct. S5 is a leader in the solar attachment market. Uh, we've been involved in solar since the early 2000s. Uh, to our knowledge, the first direct attached PV was done in 2005. Uh, the first commercially available direct attached for metal roofs was pioneered by S5 in 2007. Um, you know, we're going to get into talking about spacing today, correction gaps, walk space, and placement of your PV on the roof. So before we dive in, you mentioned S5 offers a direct attach PV system. What exactly does direct attach mean and what are some of the benefits of a direct attach system? As I mentioned, S5 was the first to make a direct attach system commercially available for metal roofs. A direct attach system refers to a PV mounting a system that does not require rails. Some of the benefits of not having rails are savings in material, savings in shipping and handling, and installation time. So with a direct attached system, each point at which the module is grabbed is also the point at which the system is attached to the seams or the ribs of the roof. The details of these systems can be found on the S5 website under the solar tab towards the top of the website. All right, Nick, so let's go ahead and begin. First off, what is meant by spacing of PV arrays? Spacing of PV arrays involves designing gaps between rows or columns of the array. These gaps can be used for walk spaces, used to design visual symmetry or patterns into the array, and they can also be used to allow the module manufacturing mounting zones to lie directly over the seams or ribs of the roof. With a direct attach method, you're often going to be mounting the modules in the landscape orientation. The landscape orientation refers to when a module is mounted horizontally as opposed to vertically with the portrait orientation. We're also going to talk a bit about placement of the array on the metal roof relative to the edges of the roof. So now why is spacing important on PV arrays? Spacing on PV arrays is important for several reasons, one of which is providing walk spaces that installers can use to more easily install the array. They don't have to kneel or stand on modules to install the array. Kneeling or standing on modules can damage the modules and decrease their efficiency. Another use for the walk spaces is to allow the array to be more easily maintained in the future. Should a module in the center of the array become non-functional for whatever reason, if there are no places for people to walk, then they would have to remove modules to access that module in the center of the array to replace it. Another consideration is the placement of the array on the roof relative to the edges of the roof. Many jurisdictions require what are called fire setbacks. This is space on the edges of the roof that allow firefighters to safely access the roof without having to walk on PV modules should there be a fire or should they need to vent the roof for any reason. Another consideration with array placement on the roof is the increased wind load zones near the edges or the corners of the roof. This is a more complex topic and we're going to address in a future FAQ Friday soon. When using a direct attach method such as the S5 PV kit, spacing becomes important to allow the module manufacturer's mounting zones to fall over the seams or ribs of the roof where you'll be attaching to the roof. 
The module manufacturer's mounting zones often are located one eighth and one quarter of the distance from the corner of the module on the long side of the module. Typical seam spacing you'll see on metal roofs ranges from 6 inches up to 24 inches. With wider seam spacing, it becomes even more important to locate these zones over the standing seam or rib of the roof. Thank you, Nick, for taking the time to sit down with us today. I appreciate your expertise on the subject. You got it. And thank you all for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more great resources. And if you have a question that you want answered, comment down below. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next Friday. All right, well, let's go ahead and dive in. No, that's not what I said. First off, what? <laughs> Just like, out of my head. Connecting directly. That's not the way I wanted to say it. <laughs> well, thank you, Nick, for taking down. <laughs> taking down.